So I was sitting there, minding my own business, looking at some United Airlines memes. When ya boy, the relaxing end, hits me up on Twitter wanting to do the Leviathan Easter egg on World of War. Ha <laughs> ha, hey, it's your boy. And considering every Black Ops 3 custom map looks something like this. I easily understood his desire for wanting to play something with, what's it called? Oh yeah, effort. So that's what we did, and I'm here to walk you through the easter egg. Yeah, yeah, I know the map has been out for many moons, but it was nice to go back and play this map without having 13 FPS like the first time I did the easter egg. On a side note, Clarence is in this map. So jumping right into it, let's start with step one talking to the guy. I think he has a name, but we all just call him the guy. It's like Spy Kids, okay? I'm the guy. Once you talk to the guy, and after he gives you some backstory, a panel next to him will start beeping. All you need to do is activate this panel, hack it with the hacker, which can be found in the labs, then scour the map listening for more beeping and activate the switch that the beeping is coming from. Repeat this step on the other three panels surrounding the guy. I'm probably gonna end up saying that a lot through the video. And that's step one complete. After hacking each panel and activating its switch, you can head back to the guy for information on step two, collecting the uranium above tunnel 11. This is a matter of luck as you just need to wait for the excavator to breach tunnel 11. And if you're lucky, you won't have the relaxing troll on your team. This man gave me a heart attack. Seriously relaxing. Not cool. A movie by Shane Dawson. <laughs> Once Tunnel 11 is breached, hack away the excavator, then head over to pick up the uranium. Now here's how it works. The goal is to get the uranium to the guy. Man, I need to start calling him something else. But the catch is, the uranium can't be in dry areas for long or it will explode. And you have to pick up some more uranium and try again. So if you can flood the path to the guy, it makes it a lot easier. In this playthrough, we went through the biodome to take it to him, as you can see here. Once you get the uranium to, you know who, he will proceed to give you more info on the next step. Yes. Step three, pretty simple. It's an origins generator, but much longer, and requires all people in the game to be on it. You just gotta stand on the platform until it fills up all the way. And just like an origin generator, you'll have infinite zombies spawning in. Once you complete the generator, you can move on to step 4. Although this step requires the Shaolin Shuffle Fist, which can easily be found in the portal in the biodome. To make this portal spawn, you grab the skull in the labs and head underground to automatically place it. Enter the portal and then throw grenades at the four statues around the room. I had the Mustang and Sally's, which also counted grenades. Once that is done, you are able to pick up the fists in the middle of the room and leave through the portal. Now you can continue with step four, punching the ball of Dr. Gurish. Okay, it's not Gurish, it's energy, but it reminds me of that easter egg step in Garage Cookie, which means I'm pretty sure Treyarch stole the idea of following a yellow energy ball around the map until it gets to its desired location from this map. But I digress. Now you just have to keep punching the orb and following it around the map. Try to keep track of the trail, and keep punching it. And following it, and punching it, and following it, and punching it. Yeah, there's a lot of punching. In short, you just keep punching the orb until it looks like a United Airlines passenger. <laughs> it should eventually lead to the guy. Oh no, I said it again. And at that point, you can just punch it into him, and you should get your Shaolin Shuffle Fist upgrade. I got that Kung Fu feeling flowing through me. Woo! Next step is pretty easy. Not sure if this is step 5 or the end of step 4. I'm just gonna say it's step 5. Pressing the four buttons on the wall around the guy. Once that step is done, you can move on to step 6, collecting three machine parts around the map. This step does require QEDs, so once you get them out of the mystery box, head over to spawn and throw one at the first part outside the map. Next, head over to the part near tunnel 11 and toss a QED at that one. 
Now head over to the part by the power station and throw a QED at the last part outside the map to complete this step. Then head back to he who shall not be named for the next step. Now for step 7, another one that shouldn't be too hard. All you need to do is go around the map finding these Gersh device portals and get punch kills near them until they disappear. There should be a total of 4 of these Gersh portals around the map. They're pretty easy to find because you can see their glow through the walls once you start getting close to them. After filling the Gurish portals, all you need to do is toss a Gurish device directly next to, you guessed it, the guy. and wait for your reward of all the perks. Yay, you have all the perks. That's the end of the Easter egg, right? No. WRONG! Now if you want to escape the map, there's one last step you need to do. Step 8. Get the hacker once more and head to the four terminals near Tunnel 11. Hack them all, each costs 10,000 points each, so I hope you've been saving your money. Then head over to the submarine next to the spawn and escape. And that's the end. The relaxing end. Eh.